Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to properly auto calibrate your multi taction display. This video applies to the following models, the MT420, MT550, MT553 UTB, and the new MT555 UTB. For this video I'm going to be using MT553 UTB. Multi taction displays use an array of infrared cams for tracking objects on its surface. During transportation and installation, the physical positions of the cameras may slightly move. This causes a need for recalibration of touch. It is highly recommended to run auto calibration after this as it will make it more difficult to fine tune advanced settings later on. The calibration process is completely automatic and it will form a geometry calibration where the tracking software will adjust the camera's viewing region to optimal positions. This process takes about 6-7 to seven minutes to complete. As you see here, the touch needs to be calibrated. It's just terrible. Before I start the process of auto calibration, it is important that if you are running any screen savers or power saving modes, it will interfere with the process. This is very important and a common issue I have seen with embedded operating system models. Lastly, it is a good idea and for best practice to have your screen clean and free of any dirt and smudges before starting, as it can affect the quality calibration. To calibrate, you will need one white calibration sheet which is big enough to cover the entire display. A calibration sheet is provided with the display as part of the packaging. The calibration sheet needs to be in good condition where it is not bent and the white side is not dirty, as it will affect the quality calibration. Additionally, any external light that reaches the LCD during the calibration process will result in poor touch tracking. The last two materials you'll need are masking tape, a keyboard, and a mouse. For the keyboard and mouse, I like the wireless keyboard and mouse combo as it reduces cable clutter. I recommend the Logitech K400R. It's not too expensive and it has very good range, battery life, and low latency. With the keyboard and mouse plugged into the back of the USB port of the display, OSD, which stands for on-screen display, can be accessed by wiggling the mouse a little bit. If you have a display with an embedded operating system such as Windows 7, you will need to launch OSD manually from your programs list. In OSD, on the right hand side, click on Calibrate and then click on the Start Auto Calibrate button. As soon as you click this button, you will have 15 seconds to place your calibration sheet on the display. However, I find 15 seconds not long enough to place the calibration sheet on the display and to tape it down. As mentioned earlier, it is important that no external light reaches the LC during the calibration process as it will result in poor touch tracking. External lighting interferes with the infrared cameras during this process. It is important to take time and care to mount the calibration sheet on the display. Otherwise, calibration process will have to be repeated. Use masking tape to hold it on the screen. Before I begin the process of auto calibration, many of you would most likely place your mouse cursor above the Start Auto Calibrate button, and then place the sheet on the display and then click the mouse button to start. I find this method tedious and unreliable, as sometimes the mouse cursor can move away from the start button. The easiest method is to press D as in David on the keyboard, as this will bring you to the debug menu and then press Shift C. This will begin the calibration process. If for some reason you need to stop the calibration process, press Shift C again. I am now going to carefully place the calibration sheet on the display and tape it down. I will also check that there are no gaps where any external light could seep in. With the calibration sheet mounted on the display, press the D key on the keyboard and then Shift C to begin the calibration process. There is no need to fiddle around with your mouse cursor being on the button. The calibration process takes about 6-7 to seven minutes to complete. On a non-embedded models, a series of beeping tones will indicate the process has completed. Embedded displays will not make a beeping sound. You will need to keep track of time. The calibration process has completed successfully and we can now carefully remove the sheet. If you made little pull tabs by folding the ends of the tape, you have a better chance of preserving the sheet for later use.
With the calibration sheet off, we can see that tracking has improved significantly. If you are happy with the results, press the save button to save the calibration settings. Please note that auto calibration is not automatically saved upon its completion. The process of auto calibrating a multi-taxing display is very easy to do and is highly recommended when your display has been transported or installed. If you are still having general issues with touch and tracking after doing this, feel free to contact support. And as always, have a nice day.